Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Alita here of Ribbons and Zippers. And today what I'm going to do is work on the start of what I normally do when I go ahead and design a, one of my items, whether it's a top or a dress or pants. And today is going to be a dress, uh, something really cute, so stay tuned. Okay, so these are the colors that I chose for this illustration for this wrap dress. Some shades of skin tone, almost like a caramel and browns, some warm grays, warm tones for shading. The dress is basically like an off-white color with black dots. So this wrap dress that I illustrated is basically um, it's so simple and so cute. What I'm going to do is put some binding around the neckline and create some gatherings here. I hope that works out. It should. So what I'd like to see is the fullness around the neckline and on the raglan sleeves. So these are raglan sleeves that I created. And on the arm, I think for the the sleeve, I'd like to see either a binding or let me just do a little gathering here with elastic around the elbow. I think that might work well. And this is the fabric. It's really nice, lightweight, flowy, uh, a leopard skin type of fabric. Animal print. Animal print is in right now. It's really in. Most of the stores are selling it. So these are the colors that I chose. I think that the first color here is a little too yellow, a little too dark. This one is a little too peachy. And these are the off-white beige colors with the shading that I chose. And what I'm going to do is add some blue for the background to make it stand out. So let's go ahead and start uh, doing the skin tone. The skin tones with I like this watercolor pen. It works really well. Um, this color looks almost like the color of my skin. A dark caramel type of color. I like that. Yeah, I like this color. I usually um, just go ahead and shade the skin tones first. I think that makes a lot of sense and then I'll go back and touch it up a little bit. So I, I'll just go ahead and uh, trim, make some shading on the arms, the legs, the face. The face, uh, when I do the face, I usually just leave it blank for the most part. I don't really do faces, but it's okay. And so the dress, I go, I do the shadings first, the warm browns, the warm grays. You know, just go in and, and make all those shadings. And right now, look, cute little pink nail polish. Huh, that's really cute. And so... And so now I'm using another watercolor pen that's really, um, really nice. I love the, these watercolor pens. The point is so sharp. I can get these little polka dots and uh, animal prints exactly where I want it on the dress. And so um, I'm almost done. Just want to let you guys know that I will be making this dress in about a week after this video. Please come back to my channel so you can see how the process is done. First, I'm going to make the pattern for the dress. Um, and I think that this is going to be a really cute project. Okay, so I'm using a Prisma Color pencil. This burgundy red here really pops. I love it. Um, Prisma Color, that's what these are. And turquoise uh, shoes here. They're both used. They're both um, done with a Prisma color pencil, and so the watercolor blue around the dress really highlights the dress. When you do a white dress, you want to highlight it with something that really makes it pop. Okay, so that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tune back in to watch me make the dress. So long for now.